Hey, it's Mr. Shrum again, and I just wanted to do a quick video about Edmentum and where you can find uh, the grade in your class, how that works, how to unlock mastery tests if you scored too low, and to remind you to take these activities seriously because this is uh, the grade, right? Okay, so you can find the current grade in your class at the, at the top of each page. And in Mentum shows your whole um, report too. And within each, each course, it shows you the pacing, the target date, and the status of every activity. So teachers can see how much time you spend in each, each section, right? And the scores you're getting, what's being locked, what's not locked. And if you're, if you're going through everything a little too fast and answering random questions and getting locked out of mastery tests, uh, teachers see that as you're not taking the time to really look at the material and then take the test. You're, you're kind of just going through the course. And if your grade's low, that's, that's why that's a reflection of that. So if you want to get your grade higher, you can retake these mastery tests and tests. Um, the mastery tests are sort of like your day-to-day -day classwork, uh, which is graded, right? And so if you don't score high on those, you can retake them as many times as you want. And to unlock them, just go back through the tutorial, and that should unlock it for you. I posted instructions about that. That should be fine. I know some of you are really close. You're scoring like 60%, 70%. Um, and that's good. To me, that's like you're almost there. Maybe like some language issues are coming up or you, there's just something you don't quite understand. But if you're just scoring like 20, 30%, you should probably go back over the material and watch the video, read through the articles and try to get an understanding of everything before moving on. And what you don't want to do is just randomly like start taking tests over stuff because uh, this builds on the previous stuff. So if you're jumping around and getting kind of low scores, slow down, take your time, but you still have, uh, yeah, like over 10 weeks to get through um, this stuff. And it, it's not a rush, right? So it, it, it's flexible and you can do your work whenever you want, talk to your teachers about everything, but it is still being graded. So remember that. I know it, it took a while to get started, but from here on out, the work you're doing will be graded. So put in your best effort. And if your grades are too low right now, take the mastery tests again and score higher. And hopefully that will boost your grade up and you will be satisfied with that. But yes, all your grades are available in Inventum. Remember to spend time in the course because teachers can see that. And if you're spending only like two minutes in a test or tutorial and having trouble, the teacher's probably just going to tell you, all right, you should probably just go back through the tutorial. But if you're really having trouble, talk to a teacher. They will, they will help you out as much as possible. And that is all I have for you today. And yeah, so have a great rest of your week. I hope that cleared some things up.
and I will talk to you later. See you guys, girls and pals. <laughs>